Hey guys, it's Christina and welcome to a very special Plan With Me video here at Adventures in Polish Land. Today we are planning in the Erin Condren Life Planner for going back to school and more specifically I'm going to be showing you how I would use this life planner if I was still in college. I have been through college, I've been through graduate school, and this is the first year of my life where I am not a student any longer. But that being said, I thought it would be really helpful if I showed you how I would use this if I were in college. I even went back and found my schedule from my freshman year of college and wrote it down so that this video would be accurate for you guys, and I thought this would be fun and helpful at the same time. So first and foremost, I'm going to talk about what I think you need for making this the easiest and best experience. Now of course, you don't really need any of this stuff. You could totally buy an inexpensive planner at your local office supply store and use that. But of course, I'm going to be using the Erin Condren and I am using the horizontal layout. I think the horizontal layout is perfect for back to school. There is a lot of room to write in everything that you need to and there's plenty of space to decorate as well so that this can be a fun experience for you. I also recommend you purchase a dashboard for your Erin Condren. This is a snap-in to-do list. It costs $4 on the Erin Condren website. So when you go to buy your planner, I highly recommend adding this to your cart because otherwise the shipping will be pretty expensive if you buy this alone. This is a double-sided laminated insert. You can make one of these yourself, but I just decided to save the time and buy the pre-made one because I knew this would be really good quality. And if I was a student, it would last me probably my entire four years of college. And I'll show you how we're going to use this in just a minute. Now color coding, I think, is going to be very important for a student. I recommend getting the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point markers. I use these to write on stickers and we're going to use them to write on this dashboard as well. These do bleed through the pages of the Erin Condren, however, so I recommend Inkjoy pens, which I will link down below. I don't have any on me right now because I used them all up when I was studying the past few months. But I do have the Erin Condren Party Pops markers and these will work just fine when we're color coding. I'm also going to be using this Diary sticker book. It is Wise University themed, so I thought this would be perfect for decoration. If you're a science major, this would work perfectly for marking your labs as well because it has a bunch of beakers inside. Of course, we're going to use this no matter if you're a science major or not. I was not a science major. Of course, you could totally add on with more stickers and washi tape, but I'm just going to stick to the basics right now and see how it goes. I've actually gone ahead and made a photocopy of a week in September for this Plan With Me video because obviously since I'm not a student anymore, I wanted a blank canvas to work on for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to recommend is that you use this dashboard for a weekly schedule. That way you can snap this in every single week and you'll save room in your planner. So I'm going to go ahead and write my schedule in using my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point markers. Don't be afraid to use permanent marker on this dashboard because you can easily wash it off using a spray or you can color over the permanent marker with dry erase markers and it will erase really easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and write in my weekly schedule. I'm going to color coordinate my classes. So for my religion class, I'm going to write it in red. For my political science class, I'm going to write it in orange. For my American studies, I'm going to write in green. For philosophy, I'm going to write in blue. And for Spanish, I'm going to write in pink. And what I recommend doing is writing your class name, the time of your class, and the location. So I'm just going to put main 101 to represent a main building. You can also write your professor's name on this list. I always liked having my professor's name handy just in case I forgot it. I'm also going to use my black marker to write in any activities that I have throughout the week. I took part in a lot of activities such as dance classes and clubs, but if you're in sports, I would definitely write in your practices as well. I'm just going to put a yellow star next to dance so I know it's an activity. 
Now that I have my dashboard completely filled out with my weekly schedule, I can go ahead and just snap this into my planner. That way I don't have to worry about writing my schedule in every week. It's already right here in front of me and I save room by not having to write in my class time and location. And this will be good for the entire semester. Once the semester is up, just wash this off and reuse it. Okay, now we're going to actually decorate the planner or put together the planner, I should say. I'm not going to do a lot of heavy decorating. I think it's best to keep it basic. What I'm going to do is coordinate my pen color to the color I wrote for the class and that's how I'm going to write in my assignments. If you use any stickers at all, I recommend using heart checklists. My favorite for the horizontal are from Hello Ashley Ann, but I'm just going to make little check mark boxes because I think that's what's easiest. So here's how an average Monday would look. I would write in my assignments that are due on this particular day. So I would make a little check box and then I would write religion reading and then I would write the assignment in. If you're a liberal arts student most of your work is going to be reading so this is pretty representative of what an average day would be. I actually used to have writing assignments in American Studies so I am also going to write in those. As you can see I would use the main middle section of every day to be my assignments. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and fill in some more of the planner just so you can see what it would look like. Okay, so I've written in what a week would look like in terms of weekly assignments, and now I'm going to show you how I would draw attention to some Now that I've gone ahead and drawn my attention to the important assignments for the week using these light bulb stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and write in some fun things for the week. And that's what I would use this column for. What I'm gonna do is use a bit of washi tape to block off that section. I'll use this skinny yellow one that I got on Etsy, but you can use any washi tape you have or any stickers. This is just to give me a visual representation that this part of the week is separate from my assignments. So my dad's birthday is actually September 16th, so I'll write that in. And I'll use this owl sticker from the Wise University sticker book to represent my dad. Let's say my college was having a movie night on Monday, I would go ahead and write that in. I will use these little sunglasses from the sticker book to decorate. That's probably where I would stop unless I had more events to write in or if I wanted to decorate some more. I'll go ahead and show you how I would use the other half of the planner as well. So first and foremost, I will lay down the same washi tape, but I'm just going to do this on Friday because that's the only day where I would have class. I only had religion class on Friday morning. So that would be the only class that I have to do work for. But we often had papers, so I'm gonna put paper due. And I will use a scroll sticker to represent the paper and just highlight it so I remember that it's due. And maybe on a Friday night in September, your school would have a football game. So I'll just put that over here in the fun section. To decorate, I will use this little cheerleader owl. And I can let her take up some of this space that I usually put assignments in because I only have that one class on Fridays. I would use my notes section as a to-do list for all the things that I have to do but is not schoolwork. So for example, I would write in laundry, errands, and for errands, I would do drugstore. Now I have really bad handwriting, so that's why this looks sloppy, but if you guys had good handwriting, it would look a lot better than mine. You could also write in all of the items that you need to get. And because this is my dad's birthday week, I'm gonna send dad's birthday card. 
So the weekend I would use purely to decorate. Maybe you want to set aside study time. I usually did a lot of my studying on Sundays. I'm going to go ahead and write that in. And I'll put in this little graduating owl. On Saturday, the one thing that I would do is write in anything that's happening on campus. We had concerts a lot on the weekend. Otherwise, this would be my day to put in a lot more fun stickers and to decorate it more. So here's what the completed plan with me would look like. I'm just going to snap in my weekly schedule. As you can see, we saved a lot of room by writing our weekly schedule down here on this dashboard. That way I didn't have to add it in to the week and I could just focus on my assignments. And I think it's really great to have this color code system knowing that my religion assignments are always going to be in red, my poli sci will always be in orange and so on and so forth. And you can see I still have a ton of room left to decorate and add more in, but this is pretty much representative of what my average week would look like. I added in all my homework, all my events, and there's still tons of room for more. Before I go, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I would put on a monthly view. So here's November, for example, and what I would use this for is for big assignments. I would write in my papers, I would write in my exams, and I would write in any major events going on at my college, but otherwise I would leave this pretty blank. That way you can really focus on everything that you have going on and draw your attention to those big assignments. But that's pretty much all the advice I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this mock plan with me video. If you want more advice and guidance on how to plan for college, definitely let me know and I could do a more specified plan with me for you guys. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. My normal plan with me videos will resume on Tuesday, so get ready for those and I will see you then. Bye!